We are almost at the end. The date soon approaches when the 3DS eShop closes down permanently. While I can't really do anything about that though, I can tell you about some series you should get before they disappear or you have to play them by other specific means. <coughs> this one. <coughs> or that. <coughs> Alright, anywho, let's begin. Starting off with Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney, if I can say anything, it's that it has some of the goofiest cases, even though they all deal with murder. I am recommending each of these Ace Attorney titles. I'm saying all these because Capcom has not looked in the direction of Ace Attorney in a long time. It's literally been six years. But three of these games in particular are locked to the eShop and never got a physical release outside of Japan. Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright was the only game to receive a physical version in the United States. It's more available, but it's still pretty pricey. Just look at that. But what if you wanted something with a bit more thinking? Like chess, but with more characters. That's where Fire Emblem comes in. The Fire Emblem games have increased in popularity ever since Awakening has rekindled the franchise. Following up to its success came Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, and Fire Emblem Fates. And never mind, Fates is completely gone. So the only available Fire Emblem games are currently Awakening and Echoes, and we don't talk about that other FE game at all. Fire Emblem games have a wonderful cast of characters and intense gameplay if you really want to challenge yourself. Anyway, these are not some relatively expensive games now, thank god, but they have some DLC that is pretty easy to miss out on. I'm on a little bit of a turn-based kick here, so I'm going to recommend you another turn-based game, one that I'm completely biased in recommending always. Shin Megami Tensei 4 and Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. These are some of the best games on the console. I cannot recommend these enough just because they are amazing, but they are very expensive and they will blow up in price later in the years. They have physical copies in the USA, but in the UK, these games never got a physical release, meaning once they're gone, they'll disappear forever. You follow the story of Flynn and his samurai allies while recruiting demons and battling in this very dark apocalyptic world. And if that wasn't enough, you can play its sequel where you get to play as Nanashi, the protagonist of Apocalypse, where you journey with some familiar faces to save the world from even more familiar faces. But what if you wanted something a little bit more lighthearted? Then I'll put you on Persona Q and Persona Q2. These Persona games are spin-offs featuring Persona 3 and 4's cast in Q, and 3, 4, and 5's cast in the sequel. These games have been locked to the 3DS with no hope of a port, and soon they will be locked away. Physical copies for this are not expensive, but I feel as if they are good enough to buy considering you will get your money's worth out of the time you are playing the game. Also, it's a Persona game. It's gonna be a banger. What if you were feeling like playing something more with action? The last game on my list is Kid Icarus Uprising. This is another one of the best games on the platform, and copies for this are hella expensive. Like, oh my god. I remember getting this game for Christmas eight years ago, and it was hard to find even then. I literally just got the game card, not even the actual case, because they did not have any copies. When I looked at the price for a copy now, I nearly fell out of my seat. Shout out to the game for being one of the best on the system though. Get this because it's an absolute gem you should play. Especially because there's no port in sight currently. Pit is your main character, and under Palutena's guidance, you meet an amazing cast of characters and stop the underworld from taking over. I know there are a bunch of series I missed out on talking about here, but these are only the ones I know personally. If you have any more games that might be important to look out for on the eShop, please let me know in the comments. The eShop may be closing, but I hope I was able to help you try and get a new game to play. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you're feeling me or my content. And with that said, I'll see you later.